video for you. Uh, this time I thought about uh, doing the Seeger and then gradually making uh, my way through the room. So PlayStation is obviously going to be next. And uh, maybe some of the games that I like, where I got consoles from, and uh, my Dreamcast collection. So to start off, these uh, consoles across the top are Australian uh, PAL um, with the Japanese ones at the end. I was lucky enough at a flea market one time to come across this oh, many, many years ago when Retro Gamer Guy and I kind of probably first got together. Um, I think they had uh, 25 bucks on it. I did try and talk them down. They wouldn't take any less. It does have a little bit of water damage, uh, but overall the console does work and it is nice and it was a good addition at the time to add it um, to, to our collection. Um, again, as I said, it was about 10 plus years ago. Pricing's not like that anymore unless you get really, really lucky. The Sega Master System 2 was my original console. This is not my original box. I purchased this from eBay UK actually um, and I replaced the console out. My original console is in here. Uh, this is the original styling of box that I received as a gift as a child and it was my first Sega Master System 2 um, but it is now going to continue to stay boxed. Uh, it started to have a few issues with power and I wanted to prolong its life. Essentially, um, for me, it's very important. Above is a, a control stick, a second control stick. I got this um, in a bulk lot purchased. Apparently, they're really pricey. I uh, couldn't tell you what overall I paid for it because I did buy um, probably you know a few hundred dollars worth of video games at the time, and it just happened to be in there. Um, this is really cool. When we were in Japan, uh, we were at a store called um, R2, and I think it's A-T-O-O. Um, they have stores in Osaka and also one in Kyoto, and I got this from Kyoto. So as soon as I did see this, I, I couldn't, I couldn't put it down. Um, I obviously had to buy it back then. Um, it was, you know, twenty bucks or something. I haven't seen one since in my travels. Um, I didn't know that that style of controller, which looks like our one, um, was over there. So um, quite a collectible piece for me and it didn't cost me much at all. Mega Drive. Um, this is Retro Gamer Guys. Um, it's a pretty cool unit. I have another one of these that's in really fair condition, average, uh, that I purchased from a cash converter store on the Gold Coast a long, long, long time ago, probably when I was uh, 16. So it's in storage at the moment. But you can tell the original price tag on there is $297.95. We tend to like, oh, sorry, $297 even. Um, we like to keep the original price tags on games. Um, tell me in the comments section if you do too, um, unless we're the only ones. The most recent trip to Japan, we purchased the Mega Drive and also a Mega CD2. They are still sealed. We have not opened them yet. Um, space is kind of an issue for us at the moment with our current console setup. Uh, and we just haven't had time since we got back. Uh, but I am really excited to add some um, notable games to that collection. I did sell my Japanese games off recently. Uh, I only have maybe a couple of cartridges and um, one game which I will show you but uh, I'd like to hear what other games um, for the Japanese consoles are great um, for me to buy but this is just beautiful condition it was featured on my Instagram um, and I will be taking some better photos of it especially when I do open them up uh, this was a find at a hard off it was 110 yes 110 that roughly converts to um, oh, I can't even remember now probably dollar forty on a good day or a bad day really the Sega Saturn Virtua Stick kind of looks like a rave party in here um, it's really cool I really like it it's super heavy though so we're kind of in the wrong way I'm gonna go I've got mine um, sort of A through um, and get this focus up a little bit for you guys. 
Um, there uh, are only a couple of games now that I wish to still get. Um, one of which is uh, Alex the Kid in Miracle World, the actual hard um, copy of it. The uh, release, it, I don't believe it was released in Australia, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is um, a European game so I have watched a few but it's started to become now like a rare copy um, and unfortunately um, the pricing I should have jumped on it when I kept thinking about it but I was umming and ahhing so if you are umming and ahhing about something um, just buy it for yourself and treat yourself that's probably my best um, you know recommendation so games that I had from a child, uh, a lot of these are the games or I've bought them because I used to rent them and I didn't actually have a copy of the game. So um, these Alex the Kids I had and are mine. Um, Bank Panic is one of my very favourite games. Um, it's a western style shooter where you sit in a chair and then they open the doors and you've got to get the cowboys um, and then you get paid money at the bank. Um, it's probably... Uh, one of my top 10 games of all time. I do love it. Choplifter is another great game. Um, it, these ones aren't expensive either. These are my personal favourites. Um, everyone is different. This one where you've got to save, uh, like, I don't know, let's say army people or just people in general and get them back to base. Um, Choplifter is one of my originals. Castle of Illusion so one of my originals. I love the music in this game and the colours. I actually might play this one again today. I played it the other day. Um, yeah, I really, really love that game. One game that I used to rent a lot as a child was Chuck Rock and Chuck Rock 2. Note this has got the white cover, um, not with the checkers. They were two games that I had to add um, in the last maybe five years. Deep Duck Trouble was on the last of the list of games that I needed to grab and uh, I finally have a copy of it, which I'm really happy about. Uh, Fantasy Zone, it's one of my original games, also great music, great colours, um, it's uh, beautiful, I love that game so much, I tend to uh, buy it however I can get it in other formats and stuff. Krusty's Funhouse is another one of my games, some people like it, some people hate it, um, I happen to like it. Um, Marble Madness is another one of my original games, sort of puzzle with the ball game. Um, Penguin Land, this was one that I rented a lot, so much. Um, it's a puzzle game, the cute little penguin, and I eventually bought this from the UK and it's probably one of the cleanest games that I own. I bought this for maybe, I don't know, $25 when I was 18, um, and I do not regret that, um, just to even have it as a game that I purchased for myself when I didn't have it as a kid. Um, oh, God, I would have had so many late rental fees on that one. Psycho Fox is another one that I used to rent when I was a child. This one's absolutely wrecked. I did do a video in a pickups about this, um, so I do have a really nice complete inbox copy now. Again, an underrated game. I think it's become more popular within the last few years and a must play. I find it extremely challenging. I still can't finish it, um, but it is uh, a lot of fun to play. Uh, the Sonics are my originals. Um, I do have the variants of Sonic 2, which is the cartridge one. Sonic Chaos is a new game I just added because it was one I used to rent. Uh, and the Wonder Boys are originals. Then moving on, uh, the Mega Drive was a console, as I said, that I got when I was... Um, you know, in high school still. My one is pretty average, that's Retro Gamer Guys. Um, but I did add a lot of games. Now, and the reason why I did add games back in the day, they used to sell these, and this is no lie, at cash converters for a dollar or two dollars. My collection used to be a lot bigger than this. I thinned it out uh, when we were saving money to buy a house, as people do. Um, so I did keep the notable games that I enjoyed playing and then other ones that were duplicates and stuff like that I sold a long time ago, um, probably seven years ago. Um, so for me, I really love Aladdin, Altered Beast, 
Battletoads. Now, the Battletoads games are uh, probably some of my favourite games of all time. Um, the rare, they are rare games. Um, and there we go, rare. Uh, absolutely love them. The only ones I'm missing are Game Boy, uh, so I really need to do uh, need to find copies of those. Um, recently, I didn't realise that uh, in Australia there are double packs. Um, I think I got this for really cheap. Even recently, I think that was about ten bucks. Um, the Tiny Toons game. I've got Castle of Illusion on uh, this as well. Now there is a few variants of this game. Again, when I was thinning out my collection, I did sell, I think there's a silver version or something like that. It was this game or another Mickey one, but um, I do regret doing that because I had multiple copies of these games and you know, they are quite collectible now. Um, Earthworm Jim, this is a bootleg copy. Um, I don't buy bootlegs normally, but I just decided that this was like five bucks one day and I didn't have it, um, so I got it. Um, I think this one's another bootleg, four in one. And a game that I do like to play, Mickey Mania and also Micro Machines. I think this is a really great racing game. It's so fun. Um, always, always have a big laugh. One of my original Mega Drive games uh, is an X Rental Mutant Football League. I actually think this is really fun. Um, I played this a lot as a teenager. I think it was actually this copy renting it as well. So when I found it for sale at the video store, when they were, you know, games were just getting so more advanced that they were just getting rid of all of this stuff back back then so um, Streets of Rage is so good we uh, play Streets of Rage a lot especially when my brother-in-law comes he loves that game too and yeah so then we've got some other collectibles uh, we both love Captain Planet we do have a few carded Captain Planet toys an Engage game, which has just popped in there at the moment. I intend on buying some more. These were McDonald's toys. They were given to me by an ex-colleague, like work friend. Um, I used to play them in my desk when they when I used to have um, have them at work. Then we've got some cartridges of games and Game Gear. I don't have a lot. That Mega Man is a fake copy and it doesn't work. Um, it's just there. It needs to really go in the bin. And then some other games. Demolition Man, which is very expensive in Australia. Um, it is very mint and complete in box. We just had to get it because we are massive Demolition Man fans. We've had the pinball before, um, so it just made sense that we get the game. Uh, it was pretty expensive. Uh, I cannot say it properly, but it is Macamora for Macamora for uh, the Mega Drive, which is my only boxed Mega Drive game now. Um, when I have everything open, that will be one of the first things that you know, I get pumping through it. I can't wait to play that port of the game. Uh, then we've got Mega CD. These are Retro Gamer Guys. I actually don't know a lot about the Mega CD. Um, so I know that there are some really great games for it. Um, we have a lot of Japanese games now in Saturn. Dreamcast is something that I absolutely love, but I do not have a working pal Dreamcast. And I also don't have a lot of games for it in the Japanese versions as well. So I'm kind of failing at that. Um, yeah, I need to really uh, rectify that issue because I do love the Dreamcast a lot. Uh, luckily, recently I found some sealed games at a store in Brisbane. They are in, um, I think, I can't say, I don't know what um, language they are, but they are in different language. I did buy Dave Mirror BMX because I love that game. Neo Geo controller. And then we go down to the Nintendo stuff, which I touched on in a uh, another video. This stuff is here because I simply have run out of room on the opposite side uh, and my Zelda stuff. Here's my poor little Dreamcast that needs to be fixed. It has a power issue. And then to finish up the Sega side, um, of course we don't have as much Sega as we do Nintendo and 
uh, and PlayStation. It is a huge love of mine, but I only buy the games and consoles that I really, really want. The Mega Jet, which is Retro Gamer Guys. Sonic Mania kind of goes between Sega and uh, Nintendo, so I have kept it with the Sega stuff, being Sonic. Um, it's a beautiful collectible piece with a um, pretty big statue, as you can see, the box is pretty huge. Game Gear, this Game Gear is actually not working either. Um, I don't have any working Game Gears, I don't think I've ever played a Game Gear. Um, so yeah, I need to get into learning how to solder and fixing those things up. Uh, which one's this? This is a Dreamcast controller, um, the Millennium one, yep, Millennium 2000 that we got in our most recent trip. Sega Saturn, this is cool, clear controller, also purchased that in this last trip. Hello Kitty Dreamcast, this is a skeleton clear, uh, it comes in two colours, Japan release only, blue and pink. I have the blue variant obviously and I have the pink controller loose. Um, this is my current play Dreamcast, as I said I don't have a lot of games but the games I do have I play, so things like Crazy Taxi, Crazy Taxi 2, uh, Sonic, um, and I think I've got a couple of fighting games. Here is the Regulation 7 Dreamcast. This is all black and very beautiful. Uh, the box does have wear. We purchased this on our last trip to Japan. Um, it's one that we both had earmarked that we wanted. Uh, I don't know too many other details on how many were made of this console, but I definitely will do a side-by-side -side variation of the three Dreamcasts that I have. Um, one of which is just your normal release one. And then these two together, I think it'd be uh, pretty impressive to see all three of them together. Uh, and then lastly, down here, sorry, this is all a bit of a mess. Get these test consoles out of the road. Yep. So, with the Saturn, I have the This Is Cool that I use as my, uh, my play console. Um, I'm currently Sorry, my eyes trying to look through the camera. I'm currently playing Rockman X3 on that one. Sorry, it's a bit dusty. And then that's the Hello Kitty Clear Blue. Absolutely beautiful unit. I love it. So, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in to the tour again for Sega. And uh, we'll keep the content fresh with some PlayStation stuff next. Stay tuned.